sexual way under the blanket and she was alone. Due to the length of Christian Prince's videos, I have to break him down and put him on this way in 10 minute intervals. As long as the genie was able to have sex with the wife for uh, and he is a prophet of Allah. Canada in the background. That's mean Allah he does not exist. Why? Because the Quran says, and remember what Ahmad he said. This guy he said something very important. He said, Shaitan he asked Allah to mislead us. Right? And Allah he agreed. Did he say that? We heard him saying that, right? All right. When the genie, he screwed the wives of Suleiman, Allah, he agreed to? Is that part of the agreement? That shaitan, he can screw the wives of the Muslims? Obviously, Allah, he agreed. And that shaitan, he used his penis in this war, the human being. So, shaitan will not only betray you as a human being, he will betray your wife vagina, according to this Abdul, and according to the story of Suleiman. Again, he said that Allah, he said, it doesn't matter how many times you mislead them, as long as they ask forgiveness, I will forgive them. But this is not what happened in the Quran. If you go and see the story of Adam, you will see that Adam, in chapter 2, verse number 37, after the shaitan, he mislead them. Adam, he repent. Allah, accept the repentance. In verse number 38, Allah kicked him out of heaven. <laughs> the crazy Allah. The guy, he repent and you accept, and then you kick him out. <laughs> now, listen. Uh, this guy he said something very important too. He said Allah he asked Shaitan to go down to us. Allah he ordered Shaitan to submit to us. This is what he said. Do you remember, guys, what he said? Allah, he ordered shaitan to go down to us and submit to us, us who? The human. And the Muslim, they say to us, we Muslim, we should not bow down to anyone but God. When their God is the first one to commit shirk, he is ordering a creature he created to go down to someone else, not him. And who is that? A human being. So, was the shaitan a bad person when he refused to bow down? Absolutely not. First of all, this order is not ethical. <coughs> it's not what? It's not ethical. Why? If we go to the story, if we go in chapter 2, and we read, in, starting from verse number 30, chapter 2, verse number 30. Allah, he told the angels, and by the way, the word there in the Quran, in Arabic, it says Khalifa. That is proven to be a mistake. It is Khalifa, which means creation, not Khalifa. Khalifa for what? Khalifa, there's a Khalifa and there's no, there is no kingdom. Anyway. <coughs> so Allah, he told the angels, I'm going to make in the earth a creation they say to him are you going to create someone who would do mischief in the earth he said and we are the one who praise you like why you need him look what Allah said he said I know what you know not so what Allah accused them that they are liars and they are not saying the truth about Adam. He will not do mischief. Then, in verse number 31, Allah wanted to prove to the angels that they are stupid and they know nothing. 
He taught Adam all the names. Zucchini, Burkini Faso, uh, Obama, uh, Hillary Clinton, Trump, all the names. And then he come to the end, he said, tell me the names of those things. The first answer, he said, um, I don't know, I'm not sure. I give up. The second answer, he do not know. The third answer, they do not know. Then the, all the answer, they said, you know what, Allah? And this is in verse number 31. We do not know. And then, in verse number 32, they said to him, Allah, we know only what you told us. You are the whole knowledgeable. In verse number 33, Allah, he said to Adam, mm, let us get them busted, Adam. Tell them all the names. And Adam, he starts saying, zucchini, macaroni, shish kebab, potato. Uh, hummus. No, that's not hummus. Uh, um, uh, uh, ice cream. Uh, uh, Sony. Uh, 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 Apple. Apple TV, Apple, Apple TV, uh, uh, sorry, Macintosh, uh, uh, Windows 9, 10, uh, uh, you know, and, uh, um, and all the angels like was saying that, wow, <laughs> wow, how he know? You see Allah here is trying to convince them that they are a bunch of ignorance. They do not know. Unbelievable story. Just to show you, Muslims, how stupid the one who made the book. Imagine I met you in the street and I said to you, what the name of my dog? And you said to me, I do not know. You know, my dog, his name is Qasim. And then you said to me, mashallah, how you know you must be God. You idiot. Is it Allah is the one who named those things? So what a big deal if you know the names? I thought he would show them that he know the future. He know the unseen. Not he know names. He is the one who named it. You see how stupid this talk is? Bali Khattab. Who is on sorting? I'm just analyzing the story. Come on, take it easy. Did I call you names? I'm not insulting. Guys, I'm insulting. I'm just analyzing the story. This is a very stupid story. Allah wanted to, to prove to the angels that they do not know. So what he did? He taught Adam the names. And he taught Adam to tell them the names. And this is how he proved that he knows everything. That is very stupid. If you are the one who names something, whatever you name it, you cannot, you cannot claim knowledge. It is the name you gave it to it. What about I am the one who named it and then you tell me the name without telling you? Is that correct, guys? What about Allah? He made that game this way. He say to the angels, okay, you know what? Those things I will place in the front of you. Name it for me and don't tell me. Don't tell me the name. You name it and you keep it in your mind. And then Allah, he tells them what they name it. That will be a miracle. Islam loves black and like Christianity, it's a big fat lie. Islam hates black. Actually, the Quran says it clearly that every human being will not enter heaven unless he's white. Isn't it the Quran says, That they, Allah, will make every face white and every face black, which means the face of the every in chapter 3 verse number 106 every believer Allah will make his face every non-believer Allah will make him black if we go to Nikathir and Nikathir he says that Allah in the judgment day he will make the believers white so when a believer he see a believer he know him from his face and Allah will make every non-believer black. So when a disbeliever, he meets a disbeliever, they will know each other from their face. So those who disbelieve, they sit with those who disbelieve, and those who they are believers, they sit with the believer, which means that the two society will be before the judgment day. White and black. According to the Quran, the black one is the bad one, the 
white one is the I'm gonna go one. back a little bit here. Bye. So when a Muslim he says to us, Islam is not against